Michael Jackson's History Tour was one of his most high-tech concert shows of the time. Staging and choreographing the opening and closing ceremonies for the Olympics in front of Georgia. Be very careful in the corners where the safety tape is. Don't get your fingers through the holes. The plexiglass will keep you inside the piece. And we're going to go through a musical thing. By the time you finish with this, that door should be in behind you. I started professionally with Michael 17 and a half years ago in 79. And uh, this is my fifth tour, my 20th tour throughout my career. Performing on that level, uh, the level that Michael uh, performs on and entertains people on, it's a challenge and to be up on that level with him and be along for the ride and watch the magic and artistry uh, go through his paces with the audience. And you know you got to be alert, you got to be on your toes, you got to be aware of everything around. I have to really key into him for his dance movements. I love ac accenting the things he does and bringing it to life. We try to get this big cycle of energy running through the arena. I've never seen anyone work as hard as he does. And it's very inspiring, so it makes you work very hard. It brings you to your peak level of, the, of abilities. So, I see that every time I come stand and watch that on stage, I basically learn something every, every time I learn something. I go and try to, you know, irritate Michael, so <laughs> it's great. The History World Tour was Michael Jackson's third and final solo concert tour, with 82 concerts attended by 4.5 million fans. The tour spanned the globe with stops in 52 cities, in 35 countries on five continents covering Europe, Africa, Asia, Oceania, and North America. Out of the hotel, it's, uh, it's incredible. I've never been used to then he is driven within feet of the stage entrance, and it's showtime. A uh, sterling silver plated and 18 karat gold plated. It's pretty light. This hologram coat is one of Michael's favorites. The clothes are coordinated to blend with the songs Jackson performs. We want to keep him really light in the beginning for the energy. And the show kind of slows down through the ballads. You can give him a little more heavier coats. Then we go, because this is actually rubber. And then we go into the, uh, like, blood on the dance floor. This starts getting more form-fitting. And then through the end of the show, we're going into, like, silk shirts, where he's really, like, oh, almost overheated. He's performed for two hours.
The tour was announced on May 29, 1996, and marked Jackson's first concert tour since his Dangerous World Tour ended in late 1993. I will 